Torah Prophecy Stray. David made a, uh, God made a covenant with David and with Solomon, David's son, King David from the Bible. And part of that covenant is conditional, you know, on the throne forever. But if they sin, off you go. Conditional. Jeremiah 18, I'll bless this kingdom and I'll... It practices righteousness, I'll build it up. But if it sins and turns away from righteousness, I'll overthrow it. So, prophecy needs to be honored, but if it's not honored, God overthrows it. So, um, David's covenant is definitely a conditional covenant. So, uh, God, God is a God who has conditions. So, it's not necessarily going to do A. If, if he lays down, this is the requirements for A, and you're doing B, then he's not going to run with what he planned on A. He's going to do B to punish you. Instead of preserving you, he's going to punish you. So, um, when Isaiah says, this is going to be the way, this is the prophecy. And when Jeremiah say, this is going to be the way, and this is the prophecy. And when Daniel says, this is going to be the way, this is the prophecy. If they, if that's plan A and plan A and plan A and Hosea and Jael and Amos and the rest of them, this is plan A. But if Israel goes off and does plan B, then God will run with plan B and say, thump, uh, stuff is. So I, I'm not really sure because of the conditional nature of David's prophecy, it is conditional on obedience. I'm not really 100% sure if if God's got a plan A, and Israel are doing plan B, that God is going to run with plan A. So I don't think he necessarily can push that agenda to fulfill it literally when it's got to happen, if they're doing plan B. If they're doing plan B, he won't do plan A. And I think that is scriptural. It's in alignment with what the scriptures teach. There's two witnesses what I've got so far. The... Um, Oh, well, there's, there's three witnesses. Leviticus 26, if, they, if Israel sins into exile, they go. You know, it's choice what they do. So, uh, he's not going to run with the prophetic agenda if they do plan B. So that's definitely part of how God would fulfill prophecy. He'll run with the fulfillment of the prophecy, but if they're doing plan B, it's conditional. God will run with plan B, which is punishment. So... I'm, I'm happy enough with that being probably their biblical principles I think I'm probably satisfied that that's reasonable enough so Israel prob probably did plan B to that, when those prophecies were given they probably ran with a bit of plan A they ran with a fair bit of plan A I would imagine but they did a lot of plan B as well you know heaven and hell so, you know, they ran with plan A but they were doing plan B so, um, when, when God's been mentioned to me, or someone's been mentioned to me spiritually, the idea that, you know, I mean, God's getting around to fulfilling the prophecies. If they're doing plan B, then it's reasonable to argue that God's getting around to getting those things and polishing them off. My friend Charles Mortlockov said that recently. He's a car I know right as well. There's very few of us, but he is one of us. And he said, it's, it's, it's getting there. They're getting there. And, I think with those biblical principles, which I think probably are principles, with the fact that they've probably run with a lot of plan B, a lot of rebellion, that the prophecies potentially are still the word of God in getting there in time. So this is Torah Prophecies 3, and I'm happy with this video and the teaching that I'm presenting here.